Oh, guess who's here? Mr. Blitzwheels himself. Same. No, yours is darker. Yours is a little. I mean, it looks very close. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, this is lighter for sure. Huh? This is lighter for sure. Lighter than what? Your car. I don't oh, know, the paint. It's. Yeah. This is lighter for sure. It's a little bit. But that's old. It's sun faded. True, and yours is painted. Mine's fresh. Man, that looks crazy! Dude, I'm gonna get some B-roll on this one. Alright, so we got Johnny here today. We're gonna go ahead and roll his uh, fender just so we can get these insanely expensive wheels. <laughs> his, his wheels are is, uh, half the cost of his car. <laughs> Bro, this is insane. You get, the, you know what's crazy? These wheels would buy this 300 <laughs> <laughs> And then some. And then some. Okay, so today we're just gonna do some uh, fender rolling. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna go over a bunch of things that have changed and update this this uh, channel. Um, I know we have a lot of people asking, you know, when we're gonna get the uh, RB25 done. So that has been kind of slowly progressing. So I'll make sure to go over that. Also, new wheels on the uh, cookie, so we'll show you that. And uh, you probably already saw in the background the uh, 300 ZX. So we'll make sure to talk about that too. There's a, a lot of crap going on. Okay, but let, first let's uh, let's get some uh, camber back for Johnny. Sheesh! It'll probably just work, <laughs> no, what? <laughs> no way. Just no focus. There's just so much shit around here. It's just too many Dang, I can't even believe that. The whole side's setup. done. That looks like somebody we know. Who is this fool? <laughs> Why are your headlights so clean? Why are your headlights so clean? You polish those? No. No? <laughs> it takes time to polish headlights. Dude, it looks good though. Just forgot something on. <laughs> he said, wait, I did polish them with all the little polish marks on there. Oh man, she might look good with the works. Good morning, team. Should be putting in work. Yeah. Why, am I, why am I even here right now? <laughs> what is that? I wanted to get uh, spacers that were 5x100 to 14. So I could put them on a different car. Ooh. But that's too much work. Dude, would be monster. Well, if I did 22B freaking wide yes. body. Yes, yes, and then you have to add, you know, another four inches of lip. Yeah. Oh, I think you'd be good. Oh, you need to roll anyways. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoot. Oh, that's taking chain off. Yeah, the back sides. Oh, bro, you're. Gooch, we just—I say we just rolled this part because I say we just lift it. because you're already, <laughs> you're already like that's perfect. Baking these, yeah, bro. That's what it's called, bacon. Yeah.
this we can do it. Oh man. Yeah, we could just we could just uh do a little bit. You're gonna need to fix that bacon anyways, but that looks good. <laughs> I think um if we just get a little bit of this cleaned up. I mean, yeah. oh shit, I would, but. I would. Because on mine, I made it so there was no more gap, but. If we did a roll just like how we're doing on that one. Yeah. I think I'd it would look like good. I'd like to go lower, but. But if you want functionality, I would. Yeah. Yeah. The lip was what makes it look less cheap. Yeah. If this had a lip on it. Yeah, I wouldn't even be buying it. Yeah, because then you'd be good. But. Are you those C2028s? Oh, we're not allowed to. Time? We're not allowed to we're have. Not my <laughs> we're not allowed to have uh, fake wheels here, so you're lucky. Real wheels. We got real wheels everywhere. Yeah. It's either real or stock. <laughs> Dude, I have, I've had these wheels for. A long time. We were back long. at Kent when you had those. Is this square all the way around? Or no. No, they're nine and a half in the front, and then they're ten and a half in the rear. Oh, uh, so but I think nine in the front would be perfect, and then ten. Now we have space. There we go. All right guys, so uh, brand new day. Uh, that was actually recorded about a week ago or so, uh, helping Johnny out with his wheels. Um, like I promised, I wanted to kind of give you guys a small little recap of what's going on. Um, I uploaded two videos. Uh, those are actually recorded last year um, of me dropping in the RB. Um, right now the car is completely covered with everything so uh in the next couple videos you're actually gonna see the homecoming of my 300 zx so uh that's actually the newest project she's running and driving though I, i'm just doing some uh, maintenance if you notice i have all the motor parts all over the place here painted and whatnot i don't want to give too much away because that will be in the next video uh, or next upcoming videos uh, but as far as this getting priority right now just because um, I'm gonna be driving this more often compared to the S14. Um, I did upload a video of installing uh, the Nardi as well as a uh, the work spell hub so there'll be a link up here um, and also got some works that was just a random purchase a buddy was selling them gave me a really good deal on those and I'll, you already know I'm all, all about those good deals. I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep those on the uh, white cookie. I might throw them on the Z. Um, just because of fitment, I'm not super happy. I have to camera it out quite a bit because I have a spacer to clear the coilover. And I think I might be able to fit it better without a spacer on the Z just because of how the suspension setup is. Oh yeah, the green s14 i did pick up a set of te's the uh te 37 sls the press graphite i think these look amazing and then obviously we're gonna finish up the rb everything is completely in the car as you saw in the last videos now it's just the plumbing uh radiator intercooler the wiring i have all the parts i need uh, i've actually had them since Black Friday of last year. So it's been completely, I think it's been a year since I dropped this motor in, so it's it's crazy. But taking my time, and like I said, the priority right now is my Z. So the next couple of videos, you'll see that. One more thing, I did recently between all the work between these cars, um, I did swap a uh, LS2 into my dad's Corvette. And um, actually, I'll show you that right here. It had rod knob. We picked it up for a really cheap price because of the motor was pretty much gone. Um, that motor is here right now. 
and my dad purchased a um, low mileage motor and I swapped that. So I have footage of that too that I'm gonna be uploading. Stay tuned for the next few videos. They will be on the Z. Um, I'm super excited for that because I'm pretty much keeping everything stocked. It's just so I can drive it and enjoy it and kind of make it look cosmetically pleasing first versus, you know, swapping it right away. Also, in the end, this LS will find a new home possibly in this car, so. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, later.